Hey everyone, welcome back to my Sitecore Diaries. The go-to channel for all the things about Sitecore and .NET overall your digital experience. I'm your host Jitendra Ganekar, and today we are we are having an exciting topic that is personalization. Today we are going to discuss about general concept of personalization and going forward in future videos we will concentrate on personalization in Sitecore. Before we starting uh, start, be sure to connect with me on my social media account. Uh, you can find all the links on screen and the description. So do follow me on my uh, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and uh, Twitter accounts. So what's inside in this uh, video? Okay, what we are going to see in this video. First is what is personalization. So we will define the concept of personalization. Then we will see why personalization is important. There is a concept called personalization and customization. So what is the difference between personalization and customization? We, we are going to concentrate more on the website personalization. So we will see what are the different types of website personalization. We will see how to implement the personalization on the website, the strategies of the personalization and at the end we will see the challenges which we, we, we might face in the personalization. So stay with me as we navigate through all the topics but before moving ahead, if you enjoyed what I am doing here, don't forget to support by clicking on subscribe button. Almost 80% of our viewers are not subscribed so please consider subscribing the channel and click on a notification bell to get a latest update before moving ahead li uh, please like this video and don't forget to provide your feedback via comment to share this video with others let's start the topic personalization the first point to cover what is personalization assume you are browsing a website okay any any website or say e-commerce website okay and you see a message hello Jitendra how are you looking for a new mobile so if you see here it knows my name and also it is knows it knows what I am looking for okay and at the same time it show me a banner straight away on my home page or a landing page where it's saying this mobile is available for some uh, 25 thousand rupees uh, it's a Diwali special after offer for only for you Jitendra so it, it's given it's, it is personalized messages displayed on this uh, uh, banner okay so if you if you visit like this on any of the website you will think that they know you personally they know exactly they are, they are exactly aware of why you are on the website and they are showing you a relative again okay so you are looking for a mobile and they are showing you the mobile on this will contribute to the better customer experience and will result in the happy customer. So whatever the use case which I have displayed is that is basically nothing but a personalization. It is actually personalizing your channel as per your need, your individual need. Okay. And it, it holds your uh, data also. It knows you, it knows your name, why are you looking for. So all those things personalized messages are getting displayed. So this is overall is a personalization. Okay, now if I define the personalization, how will you define a personalization? Personalization in a web content management refers to the practice of tailoring website content and user experience to meet the specific need, preferences and behavior of individual users. So personalization is basically the tailoring of your website content and the user experience. The user experience can be your user journey also. Website content, the content which is getting displayed on your website that get tailored depending on the individual user. Okay. And why we do this? To meet the specific need, preferences and behavior of an individual user. So the kind of behavior the user, the visitor is showing accordingly Tailoring your website content accordingly, tailoring your user experience is nothing but a personalization. 
the goal is to deliver a more relevant and engaging content to each visitor thereby enhancing their overall experience and increasing the likelihood of achieving desired outcomes such as a conversion or a customer satisfaction so why we are doing this to deliver the more relevant and engaging content so you if you deliver the personalized content it will be more engaging it have we will have a higher customer satisfaction and we can achieve the goal now goals can be anything like if you are on the e-commerce side you you, are, you want to selling you are selling something so making those orders uh, you are able to sell those orders it's maybe you are achieving the goals so you want some registration from the user if you are able to register those user then that is also say uh, you achieve your goal there might be a case where you want user to spend a more time on your website so that if you are able to achieve with this so that you that you are meeting your goals okay so this is what the personalization how, how will you define a personalization again i am summarizing personalization and web content management refers to the practice of tailoring a website content and user experience to meet the specific need preferences and behavior of individual users further we uh, go in detail uh, personalization uh, definition Personalization is the act of tailoring an experience or a communication based on information a company has learned about an individual. Okay, it is a tailoring, a tailoring an experience or communication. There are two points here. First is the tailoring experience. Okay, so what are you going to tailor it? Okay, so here we are talking about the overall concept of personalization, not just the website. So you can you can ta obviously tailor an experience about a website. You can uh, do that with mobile apps emails you can send a personalized emails web apps like SaaS applications online ads you can have personalized ads in store and in branch communication so where is visiting physically visiting the, the your visitor you might give them a personalized uh, uh, communication personalized uh, communication with them in the personally when you are you are talking to them okay then you can have online chat so so there might be a chats on your website there you can have a personalized messages a call center if you are someone is calling to your supports or any call center then also you can have the personalized uh, experience so these all are the uh, communication channel where you can have a tailoring experience that is also a part of a personalization <clears throat> then the second part is acting on the information so what kind of a information First is a geolocation. This is a common uh, data which generally uh, uh, all the website users, the, where the user is coming from, the location of that uh, user, that information you can act on. You can act on the information such as uh, source from where the user is coming to your site. Like it's come from the Google search, email, social media, paid ads, referring site, etc. Depending on that source, you, are, uh, personal, you will personalize your channel. Thermographic information for B2B. So B2B uh, in the uh, websites or uh, industry, you can have some thermographic uh, information like from which industry, for which company, what is the radio, employee count, technology stack. Like you can have a tower or dot net uh, uh, technology stack. You can have a different content. Uh, for the Java, you have a different content. For the low, uh, say 100 employees, you have a different kind of uh, offers. For above 100 employees, you can have a different offer. Those kind of a thing you can personalize. So uh, you can act on that information. Buyer persona will have a separate. Uh, uh, topic for uh, video on persona but do you remember that you can have the buyer persona depending on that also you can change it buyer status whether it is a customer or a prospect the time of the day okay you can work or uh, act on the time of the day so user uh, who is visiting your uh, stores or a branch depending on the time you can have a different kind of a communication the user visiting on the website you can have a different kind of a product displayed to the user based on the time he is visiting to the uh, website browser or a device type okay so depending on browser or device type you can change your information number of visits logins pages and screen view so depending on the user journey you can change your information Active time spent, number of hours you spend or number of time uh, seconds or minutes you spend on the uh, website. Time elapsed since last visited, email open, call center, interactions. <clears throat> then you have purchase made, what kind of a purchase, like if, if someone has uh, uh, 
uh, brought the uh, laptop so accordingly you can have the laptop accessories for the him to show okay so depending on that uh, uh, you can you can act on that information mouse movement uh, affinity towards a container and products along with their characteristic email opens and click so these are the uh, some of the uh, information which you can utilize for the uh, uh, personalization purpose okay then there can be a push notification dismissal or click through so you can have a push notifications also on the uh, on which you can work you can act okay so so overall the personalization is basically act of tailoring uh, tailoring an experience or a communication based on the visitor information now why is the personalization important let's see that why the personalization is a, such a big buzz in the market as you seen in the uh, example in the first first slide that the you will have in personalization you have an enhanced customer experience okay so once you have an enhanced customer experience that will lead to a customer satisfaction okay so as the customer is more satisfied there is a more chances or more probability that user will get convert okay there will be a conversion happen now what is conversion here the goal which you are trying to achieve on your website can be made right if you have a website where you are selling something and the customer is happy with your website then it, they can uh, they can buy those uh, uh, products your products so it's not just about a website here when you say a personalizer when you have a good personalized experience in the uh, in, in the store itself then they then also your customer will get satisfied and it will give you it will lead uh, it will lead to the conversion it will buy, will buy he or she will buy the product so enhanced customer experience data availability and analytics so for right now we have a lot of uh, a lot of tools on in the market which can be utilized to collect the data there is a lot of data is available you have a social marketing there are social uh, media from where you can collect the data there's analytic tools available so so much of a data is available and if you are not utilizing that data then it, it will not be useful right so that that is one thing which you can do it so that data can be utilized for the personalization and again personalization will lead to the customer satisfaction and the leads increase customer engagement it is very important to have a more customer engagement like you have a you have a two website two different brands which is working okay the person who is spending more time more engaged with your website that will have a more chances of conversion okay so that's the reason increase customer engagement is very important for the business point of view competitive advantages now you can see there are a lot of uh, a lot of brands which are doing the same work same thing so what is the advantage so if you if you give them a personalized uh, personalized something we personalize experience then that will have your added advantage technology advancement so right now in the market we have a lot of new technology coming the ai is coming ai is also a new uh, big buzz in the uh, in the market right so those technologies you can you can utilize for the for improving the customer experience customer pers uh, personalization okay so that will again lead to the conversion and the uh, uh, more business consumer expectation so nowadays uh, when you have a uh, brands like amazon flipkart uh, all those is a day to day use website okay now the all the consumer who is who is browsing who is doing online shopping or who are visiting to the your store they are expecting that you will have something personalized to them okay so there, there is a consumer expectation also there marketing marketing effectiveness obviously if you if you you are doing some digital marketing and spending money on the marketing that effectiveness should be there <laughs> e-commerce growth customer retention okay this is also very important if you have a la high bounce rate then you might have losing the customer okay so you want to retain your customer on your website not only on the website with your brand with your stores with your whatever activities we are doing with respect to the brand that you should you wanted to retain your you should have a loyal customer so for that you need a customer retention so at the end why personalization is a big buzz in the market because it leads it provides a more leads okay it provides a more convergence convergence and 
that will increase more with business so for increasing the business personalization is a key thing so that's the reason the personalization is a big buzz in the market now we will see what is the difference between personalization and customization so when you when you say a customization you can think that it may may sound same as a personalization so is those are both are same or different that we will see when you see a personalization it means a tailoring to an individual need based on the data and the behavior so based on the customer data and its behavior you tailor their customer experience what is a customization allowing user to manually modify preferences so basically uh, user itself himself will uh, will modify the preferences i will give an example like in on zomato you have option like a veg or not veg so if you uh, uh, there is a there is a uh, there is checkbox where you can select whether you want to see only the wage items so you can select it only the wage items so next time when you try to browse uh, 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 zomato it will show you the uh, wage only options okay so that is basically a customization it is it is taking a preference from the user itself okay but if if someone is trying to browse the, uh, the site and trying to uh, of always always ordering the wage uh, dishes and always going in the pure veg restaurant uh, so in that case that collecting that data and displaying only the wage uh, dishes or wage restaurant that is personalization okay so this is a key difference between the personalization and customization personalization is automated it is it is done on the based on the data and the behavior of the visitor by the website whereas the customization is done by the visitor itself okay so there's a dynamic adjustment based on the data and algorithm in personalization whereas a customization is a static adjustment based on the user input whatever the user is providing an input based on that you are customizing your your display or your uh, experience often involves automated algorithm and machine learning so personalization may involve the automated algorithm and the machine learning whereas customization relies only on the user input okay the personalization enhances the user engagement, increases the satisfaction. Customization provides the sense of ownership, so it gives the ownership to the customer itself. Example of the personalization, depending on user history, location, persona, etc., more relevant products are displayed on front as a recommendation to the user or the any of the e-commerce site whereas the customization you have an example like uh, you can apply filters on uh, own preference on need and then you filter out the product so that kind that is a customization the filter section is a basically a customization okay the recommendation part is the personalization so this is the difference between personalization and customization both have the different both are the different concept both are not the same all right uh, I have broken down this video into two parts. So we have completed the first part uh, uh, for today. Uh, the second part will be uploaded uh, after this. Uh, till now, if you like the video, please click on a like button to share with your friends and colleagues. Do provide your feedback or, or ask questions uh, using the comment section. Um, provide uh, your feedback is very important to me so do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click on a notification bell. Uh, so that you will get the latest update thank you thanks for watching